Gas cars versus electric cars. This week we are going to dig deep and see what's under the hood. Is it the vigorous mechanical marvel with up to 12 piston pushing puppies or oh god are these actual puppies? I'm scared to ask where the spark plugs go. Either way let's pop the hoods and we're gonna start right now. Welcome to E4 Electric for decades. When men talked about cars, they always wanted to see what was under the hood. And rarely anyone was surprised to find an engine under there. But with electric cars, there is none. The entire electric powertrain is essentially one, two, three, or sometimes even four electric motors sitting next to a flat battery. That's pretty much it. The motors are usually on the axles and are pretty small compared to even the smallest of the gas engines. So what the hell is under there? Well, for most electric cars, nothing. That's right, since there is no more engine or anything else that goes along with it, most electric car makers made it into another trunk. The front trunk, or a frunk as it was cleverly named in the Tesla community back in 2012 when I got mine. Fun fact, before then the word frunk was known for being made out of the two other words, fighting and drunk, which ironically feels like the state of mind that Elon Musk is in whenever he sends out his late night tweets. But the electric cars weren't the first ones to have the front trunk. A few gas cars designed with the engines in the back did have the frunk carved out in the front, but those were mainly exotic cars with fronks only big enough to hide their owner's, you know, wallet. The exception, of course, was the Volkswagen Beetle. Those fronks could definitely fit some junk. Speaking of the junk in the frunk, uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning's frunk is the only frunk that got its own music video on the late night show created by none other than Jimmy Fallon called Junk in My Frunk. To be honest, he's just not as good without Justin Timberlake. Much like the cars themselves, the fronks of different EVs vary greatly in size, with the biggest ones belonging to the big boys like the F-150 Lightning, the Hummer EV and the Rivian trucks. And the smallest ones belonging to mainly smaller crossovers like the Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and the Volvo C40 and XC40 in which you can barely fit a sandwich and a juice box. And the absolute smallest fronks belong to the EVs that, well, don't have one at all like the Volkswagen ID4. So what do people use their frunks for, besides enjoying quality me time and of course the power naps? Oh, things got really creative over the last few years. You give people space and time and they will most likely involve their pets, kids and of course food. Let's see what we've got, but before that, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by Lactron. Look, one of the biggest challenges with owning an EV is finding convenient and reliable ways of charging it. That's why Lactron is pioneering great charging solutions that let you charge where you want, when you want, regardless of your charging standard. Like their CCS to Tesla adapter, which lets Tesla drivers charge up to 300 amps at any CCS fast charger across the country. With the charge Charging rate of up to 150 kilowatts, it can allow for up to 180 miles of range per hour. Get one today using the discount code in the description of this video. So what do people put in their frunks? Well, let's start with what people love the most in their lives, pets and kids. Well, when they're not dressing them up in ridiculous clothes, they're making them pose for pictures in their electric car frunks. There is an actual Instagram account and a popular hashtag frunk puppy featuring people's dogs in the frunks of their cars. Now, I'm not sure if this is technically qualified as a dog, but I think it's voiding that car's warranty as we speak. Even Elon Musk's mother and Elon himself could not resist the trend. Okay, but what about those of us who love pets, but don't love getting up at 6 in the morning to pick up their poop, 
with our own hands. Well, the good news is that there is the Frunk Kitty trend as well. And of course, my least favorite of all poop producing creatures, the babies and the children. I can already tell this one is going to grow up to be either the next Sid Vicious or Tesla's new social media account manager. But then people got even more creative, like the longtime friend of this channel, Eli Burton, who has planted a little garden in his Tesla Model S's frunk, and the best part is that nothing, and I mean nothing in his frunk, needs a leash or a diaper. Some frunks come already equipped with cool things straight from their manufacturers. Ford, for example, has equipped their all-electric Mustang Mach-E with a waterproof frunk with a built-in drain, essentially making it into a cooler. You can keep your drinks cool, stash your chicken wings, and for those who are fancy, make sure your shrimp are at the ultimate bougie temperature. Ford has also put the power outlets in the front of its all-electric F-150 Lightning pickup truck, so you can power anything you want from your construction side all the way to apparently a mobile tattoo parlor, a rooftop gig, and a cookout. And if you're not a Ford fan, well, then there are plenty of aftermarket accessories to turn your frunk into a cooler or other cool things, including a trick-or-treat distribution center, or as I call it, a diabetes factory, or if you really insist on it, you can actually still get yourself a V8 right under your hood. Now, some men do even crazier things in their fronks, which can significantly, I mean significantly set them back financially. That upgrade, however, does not come with a warranty. Significantly. But the most important purpose that most EV drivers get out of their fronks is actually something that keeps themselves, their babies, pets and chicken wings safer than in gas cars and that's safety. That's right, because there is no engine stuck in the front space of the car, the safety designers have much more to work with to create the best crumble zones for the front end collisions, thus increasing the safety rating of every electric vehicle. So do you think that the Frank makes the electric cars the winner in this round, or do you prefer the puppy less spaces filled with burning gasoline and radiator fluid. Let me know in the comment section which one gets your vote and if you would like to know about more features that electric cars have that gas cars may not, well, check out this adorable in-car AI voice assistant only available in electric car models. I put a link to that video in the description of this one or if you're watching me on YouTube, just click right here. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.